Hey, welcome back to Over in Athletics. Today, we're actually going to do a unique video here on dry needling. I'm joined by Derek Brady, one of our therapists, works with a lot of our baseball players in the actual clinical setting, and he's one of our dry needling experts here. So he's going to go through some dry needling on me and kind of talk you guys through some of the applications of dry needling for throwing athletes and kind of some of the things we're looking for, um, you know, with those sorts of treatments. So. Derek here, he's the man. He's gonna actually be doing it on me today, so it'll be a little bit different type of video than what you guys have traditionally seen here. If you guys like it, hit the thumbs up. Make sure to comment down in the comment section if you're seeing something you like, and let's get into the video here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going through and I'm palpating, feeling the muscle finding where I can feel some trigger points in there, any tightness, banding of the upper trap muscle. I'll go through, kind of feel through the little vader. These are some muscles that can get tight with the throwers. If you're hiking up your shoulder too high, you can get really knotty in there. And that can actually limit your rotation through your neck. It's really important as you're looking through before you actually pitch, finding your target. So you can feel some good trigger points right up in here. That's going to be the focal point. So I'll go through, clean off the area first. For the actual needling, I've got a couple different sizes. We're going to start off with a little bit smaller one right here. So I get a good grasp of the muscle, make sure I'm surrounding the area that I want to hit. Find a good point, tap that needle in, and now I just do a little bit of probing. You can see there's a little bit of a twitch there. Yeah, he's getting some really good twitches. That's what we're after. We want a muscle twitch. So that way we're really releasing the tension there. I'll do a little twist, make sure I got a good muscle grab there. And this one, I don't really like the needle direction, so I'm gonna keep my hand pinched around that. If I were to let go, that needle falls in a little bit more than I'd like, then that's just protecting the lung field. Now I'll typically let something like this, if I can just sit in there and I don't have to hold a pinch, I'll let it in there for about five minutes. But it really ultimately depends on the actual tightness around that needle. So right now, that muscle grasp is eased off some, so I just take that needle out. Max, how'd that feel? Good. Painful at all? No, it was a little sore, but not painful. Well, that's commonly what you'll get with dry kneeling. It's, it's definitely an aggressive technique in a conservative profession. So I tell people it's not necessarily pain, but there's some soreness. You'll feel like more of a pinch feel than anything else. So I've just worked a little bit lower. So now just a little bit more distal muscle fibers and it's really, really tight in there. And I'm just probing for that most dysfunctional tissue and right there I get it. Do my muscle grasp, we'll twist that needle and it's tough to pull out. So I get a good grasp of that muscle so that we can get the most effective dose out of this. Really cool, they've done ultrasound studies on this. 
and you first put the needle in, you can see that pin going in, when they do the muscle grafts, it looks like a little hurricane that's around the needle, and that's just the tissue, the fascia, and the musculature grabbing around that. see it there that was a really good twitch so this can be really effective for if you've got that nagging upper trap tightness and that base of the neck through the top of the shoulder They're really effective in releasing those muscles and this is really trying to do everything I would try to do manually to loosen up the muscle, but this is directly right to the point, right to the source of it. So if I want to hit levator, this is coming right off the superior angle of the scapula. So I just find where I'm at with it, find the contours, and then I'll have him go into some internal rotation here. I'm going to prop up his elbow. I want to make sure I get a good lift off of the scapula, the shoulder blade off of the thoracic. Now some people, they don't have this mobility and I wouldn't be able to do this because there'd be too much tightness. It's too close to the thoracic spine. He's got good lift off. So again, I find that superior angle right here. I drop my finger down below. Now I know where my base is. Inferior angle is just above that. So I'm really protecting myself from going too close to the thoracic and therefore the lungs. Right on that spot. Right at the origin of that levator, and I just drop it in right into that, and it's really, really gritty in there. Good, healthy muscle feels like sliding in, like cutting butter. It's functional, it feels really gritty, like almost squeaky as that needle goes in and out. That's a really good spot for him. It's snug, it wants to stay in there. So I can relax off of that, watch where my needle falls. I can keep that one there for a while. Always after needling, I give it a little TLC, massage it out. This is going to increase blood flow to the area. It's going to help break up some of the tissue tension there. It's also going to help with pain. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Pretty cool treatment there. Something Derek does a lot here at our Clarkson location. So we're going to program this type of treatment in there with a bunch of other things in terms of corrective exercise. We just talked about doing some manipulations in combination with this sort of thing. But Hopefully you guys like Derek here in the video and if, if you did drop it in the comment section We'll try to pull him back in for a video. We'll, we'll see how it goes. He's a busy guy over here with our athletes So subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video